So I'm here at Artisan's Asylum with Pete Dilworth, and you've got a new project going on. Tell us about it. Um, so uh, we have just created a uh, new kind of pen. It's called Three Doodler, and uh, this is uh, our uh, our first sample. Um, basically, it's a it's a pen that draws in the air. So imagine you're drawing on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Uh, what this pen lets you do is not only draw on a flat surface, but you can now draw up. You okay. know, you can draw in three dimensions in the air, and at least behind a line of plastic that uh, is strong, like it, you know, it's, it's stiff, it's structural, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it, it essentially takes uh, you know ABS plastic and melts it, and then extrudes it through a little hole. So it's very similar to the extruder nozzle on a 3D printer, which a lot of people have. Um, so in fact, my 3D printer has this assembly here. This is the part where the plastic comes out. This is the spool of plastic. Um, and you know, you have an XYZ motorized system. So we just took this, removed it, yeah. put it inside of a pen, and now you can make 3D objects um, without any software. Uh, this costs $75 or $100 instead of, you know, yeah. many hundreds or thousands. Um, it, it's not the same as a 3D printer. I mean, a 3D printer, you put a, a you can design something on a computer, and it'll make like, you know, a figurine um, that looks exactly like the one on the computer. This is more of a, like a paintbrush or a pen. This is where you draw something freehand. Uh, it's, it's using lines. So, we, you know, it's, it's more of like a, like a, combination of like a, a wire, a bent wire sculpture and a, you know, a, a very fancy glue gun um, or a pen, you know, a three-dimensional pen. Um, and what, what we've learned is we can make many different kinds of, of, uh, of things with it. Um, the two main modes are you just draw in the air, you draw a shape in the air. And I, I've made some things like that. Um, I made a, um, this is the very first doodle I ever made. It's basically uh, an Eiffel Tower. <laughs> but I just literally just you know just drew that's great the pen and um uh, and you can also draw on on paper you can draw things kind of on a template yep. so this is this is uh this is an Eiffel Tower where we drew the pieces flat on paper and, and then attach them together them up, peel them apart off the paper it's just very easy they come right off the paper and you kind of weld them together um, and make a structure so we okay. we made an Eiffel Tower like three feet tall with, with, with this, which is bigger than most And then you've got this this little house this here like, too. This is a freehand doodle. I was just trying to see what kind of shapes you could make. Yeah. Um, we, we've made many, many different things. Like we, we, we're basically interested in creating um, uh, uh, a whole bunch, a whole community that creates templates. Um, and this one that you have here is sort of a test version. Yeah, yeah, this, version this, is number, this is, you know, sample number one right here. So this is okay. this, this works, works really well. This is kind of our proof of concepts sample. It's very, very close to the factory version. So the, you know, it has nice buttons, you know, integrated okay. into the shell and lights and things and the fan. Um, and but then my, you've my, got some other versions of it here. This, yeah, we were kind of playing around with some, some older ideas. Um, and um, made an instant millionaire we, before. We kind of... <laughs> We, um, you know, wanted to make it smaller and more pen-like, so we, we converged on, onto this design. Mm -hmm. the, the very first one is this. So <laughs> you can see we, we've come a long way. Yeah. Right from, from there to there. So <laughs> on on this one, you're yeah. you're proving this that just, it this works. Is, does it work? Yeah. And then when you get the Apple Tower was made with this. When you get to this, you're you're sort of making something that is more attractive. Right. And then when you get to this, you're making something that's... It's like a consumer mm -hmm. product. We're yeah. trying to basically make something very nice, fun, easy to use, you know, all those good things. Um, so, but the point I was making, uh, I, I want to finish up, is that uh, we're very interested in kind of building an online community of people who create uh, what we call templates. Um, Basically, people can make shapes uh, that that you you print out at home on a piece of paper, you know, on your on your inkjet printer. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I see. And, and then you draw, and you draw over your right. drawings. So like the Eiffel Tower, you can you can download the Eiffel Tower, draw the, the sides and the parts, peel them off the paper. So it's a way you, you can you can you can get a kit without having to buy a kit. You, you just print the kit on paper and then make it with your pen. So and, and you can make um, you know. Bugs and 
you know, bridges. You could make like the Brooklyn Bridge or an Eiffel Tower. I mean, you just, it's endless. So you know, we, we want to see like what do people come up with, you know? And, and because the Kickstarter's doing so well, I think now we have so many brains engaged in this that we're going to get all sorts of ideas that we never even imagined. Sure. You know. So, so I, I'm mostly looking forward to that. I'm mostly looking forward to like this is sort of it's a new art medium, you know. So now I want to see the art that it creates. So that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, congratulations on what Thanks. looks yeah. like a great project, and it'll be lots of fun. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah.